Does anybody know what this pen means? That's right, missing and murdered indigenous women. That's right, Tanya's on it. She's done her work. I, I wear this as a sign of solidarity and awareness. I'm forgetting the numbers right now, but indigenous women are more than likely to be missing and unfortunately murdered. It's a terrible tragedy, and I just wanted to say it. In light of introducing our next guest, who is an honorable man, an incredible activist. He's worked in the Peace Corps internationally, and he now works with the YWCA as a human trafficking coordinator in Monterey County. And I met Nathaniel Sawyer at the um, marina protest last Saturday. And that protest floored me. The mayor spoke, the chief of police spoke, the chief of police who is a gay Latina woman, and they were marching with the people. And I was so floored by that. And, and I, I actually, I had an emergency the other day. I'm like, I'm calling marina police. Because, <laughs> you know, what's up? So, um, and I got to see Nathaniel speak there and lead an incredible protest. Um, and unfortunately, I had to call Nathaniel earlier this week because my cousin's daughter has been missing for 11 months. Isabel Cabrera, if you're watching this, just let us know you're okay. Because we love you. It's a good thing Nathaniel was around. It's a really good thing I had someone to call. Yeah. And that's what our service, social services should do for us, is serve us. And Nathaniel Sawyer is a servant to this community, and I'm honored to introduce him, and I would like you to please welcome Nathaniel Sawyer. I want to listen to that real quick. Weight on my shoulders, a bullet in my gun. Oh, I got eyes in the back of my head, just in case I have. For my people While the clouds roll back And the stars fill the night That's when I'm gonna stand up Take my people with me Together we are going To a brand new home Far across the river Can you hear freedom calling Calling me to answer Gonna keep on Keep it on, I can feel it in my bones. I'm going to start with the words of my brother Langston Hughes, and I'm going to need your help with it. So when I point at you, I need you all to shout, America never was America to me. So when I, when I point at you, I want you to say, America is, was never America to me. Let's practice. Again. America was never America to me. One more time. America was never America to me. All right, wait for me to point now. I got you. All right. Let America be Ameri America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plane seeking a home where he himself is free. America was never America to me. Let America be the dream, the dreamer's dream. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme. That any man be crushed by one above. America was never America Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath. My opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. America was never America to me. There 
There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Where was our freedom when we were plucked from Mother Africa and forced to be called property for others' pleasure and financial opportunity? Yesterday and today, we celebrate June 10th, Juneteenth, Freedom Day. The Emancipation of Pro Proclamation was signed into law in 1863, but slaves in Texas did not know they were free until June 19, 1865. The effect was that the Emancipation Proclamation did not free all African Americans. We were not free from hard labor. We still suffered the pain of chains and whips until the 13th Amendment was signed in 1865. However, even then our freedom was limited. Being free from chains, whips, and mutilation did not make us free. Since 1865, we have had to build ourselves up and we have accomplished a lot in this country. Every generation we see black people building up. Every generation we see black people building up. We started in 1865 with nothing but the clothes on our back and the fresh breath of freedom in our lungs. America's Civil War taught us we would always have to fight for our right to live and that when we fight, we will win. The federal government under Lincoln helped free the slaves, but after freedom was achieved, we found that our fight was never over. The federal government that freed us did not help us or give us the human dignity we deserved. Once we were legally free, we immediately saw the new organizations and laws enacted to ensure we did not secede. The KKK was formed in 1865 as a re reaction to our liberty in order to terrorize our people. New black, new black codes were enacted in southern states to restrict our activity and keep us working for their plantations. They had to replace slave codes because they knew that this country was built on the blood, sweat, and tears of black labor and that without our support, they had no power. We were free in name and not in practice. So we continue to fight. We continued to fight. And we saw the passing of the 14th Amendment as well, which gave us equal protection as citizens. We fought and received the 15th Amendment and the right to vote. But again, these legal victories were overshadowed by state laws and white supremacist strongholds in our land. The Civil Rights Movement taught us when we accomplished historic victories, systemic racism and white supremacists still prevailed, we saw segregation, lack of education, redlining so that property deeds here in Monterey County excluded minority communities from owning homes in certain cities. We are blessed that in many areas we are seeing unity and equity begin to exist in our land. We are blessed by the perseverance of our ancestors in fighting for equal rights, abolishing segregation, and pursuing peace and opportunity for us. But our fight is not over. The impact of our history is still affecting us today. We have fought to establish policies to defeat the systemic racism that formed this country, but we still see our sons and daughters lynched in the streets. Our freedom is decided by a system that would see us in chains, and since slavery isn't an option, they push to assimilate us, imprison us, and kill us. Today, we celebrate our freedom with the understanding that our fight continues. It's a funeral for racism. So let's honor the pain of our past and our present, and let's strive in unity to create an America that is truly the land of opportunity. I will end, I will end with another excerpt from the poem, Let America Be America Again, by Langston Hughes. And torn from black America's strand, I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said, the free, not me, surely not me. The millions on relief today, the millions shut down when we strike, the millions who have nothing to, to, our pay, to have nothing for our pay, for all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung and all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung, the millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again, the land that never has been yet, and yet must be.
the land where every man is free. America never was America to me. Thank you. No, I can't let it happen. Come here. I can't let it happen. I couldn't do it. I can't let it happen. Stand right here. I couldn't let it happen. I don't even have to warn you this time. You already know what's about to happen. Give a big round of applause to my brother, Nathaniel Sawyer.